am currently a bit in the food coma. It is Thanksgiving, aka November 23rd of 2023. And I have one final collection of Christmas ornaments to show you. And that is my Hallmark collection. And my entire bed is covered with ornaments. So I really have to film this in order for me to go to bed tonight. And it's already 6 in the afternoon. And like I said, I'm in a food coma. So here we go. Let's go. So the first thing I want to show you is a collection from 2000. They're not with the other ornaments because these are pre-film vintage Hallmark ornaments. Um, they're kind of my, my favorite just because they actually are in the shape of a book. So here they are. These are Hogwarts charms. They're made out of pewter, which is really fun. So check this little keepsake ornament book out. And the fun thing about this is that all the old vintage pre-film merch that Hallmark made have the same theme of purple books. So keep that in mind for future videos when I show you my other Hallmark non-Christmas ornaments. So you open it up, it's Velcro on the side, see? And here we have the charms, we have a scroll. Now to keep this short and simple since I have about 70 ornaments to show you, I'm just gonna show you without opening everything up. So here it is, the golden snitch, Norbert, etc, etc. And then on the back is just some information for you, right there. And at the bottom it says pewter. Now some of them have the price tags on them and some of them are just kind of like stained with the price tag, like you know how the fade, the fade of the price tag is still there, so there's one. The next one we're going to look at is Harry, and he's flying. And again, it's pewter. So there's the back of it. I'm going to make this short and sweet. And there he is. Now, he's not actually yellow. It's just that the packaging is so old that the packaging itself has turned yellow. Otherwise, Harry inside is actually, you know, silver. Now this one actually has the price on still, it says $12.95, right there, smack in the middle. And these are the Hogwarts crests. You open it up, and it's actually this way. So there they are, Gryffindor Slytherin, the Hogwarts crest, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And then you have a little description about them. Now for some reason on the back, it says metal, so I'm assuming these aren't pewter, or maybe they are. But I mean, these are from 2001. So they started out making them in 2000 and then they carried over in 2001. So there's some from 2000, some from 2001. This time he's just casting a spell. It says, Harry chooses a wand. So he's not actually casting a spell, he's just picking it. There it is. There he is casting a spell. A little blurb about it. And then pewter in the back. Next we have Hermione. She is holding a potions bottle like she always is in pre-vintage stuff. And again, the packaging is so old that it makes her look yellow, but she actually isn't. And this one also has the price tag on it, and this one was $12.95 or $17.45, depending on if you're on US or Canada. Now we have everybody's favorite, Ronald Weasley, and he's holding a bag of birdie bots. Because why else? And there he is. See, they even have the stars on his cloaks. Like I said before in another video, all the, all the characters have stars on their cloaks, and that's always fun. You got that. Same price tag as everything else. And then we have Professor Dumbledore. There he is. So I just, I really love the design of these, right? They're great for. Just keeping them on the shelf, I mean, just picture all these little books lined up on a shelf. How great that would look. Or you can have them on a tree, and you can take the, close the books up, and again, line them up. There's so much you can do with these, I find. And then we have Hedwig, which is adorable. Again, packaging is very, very old, so she is slightly yellow, but she's not, it's just the packaging. There it is again, the same price tag. And a quick little blurb. Now we do have these ornaments that are the exact same series, but jumbo. <laughs> Cause look at this, and look at that. See what I'm saying? Totally different. So check this one out, this is Hagrid and Norbert. It's about the size of my face. Look how big this freaking ornament is. There it is, it's Hagrid holding Norbert. It's kind of hard to tell, I know. But uh, the image, honestly, in the front is exactly what it looks like. And 
And there's the back of it. Nothing there. See how faded it is? These are pretty old. And now I also have Fluffy on guard. This is Fluffy, the three-headed dog. It is hard to see the ornaments sometimes with this packaging. However, the images that Hallmark provides always is very clear and descriptive, so you don't have to worry about it. And the very last ornament in this series is Hermione Granger's trunk. So she's got a wand, a broomstick, a spell book, potions, and an hourglass. It's probably the time turn before the time turn existed in the movies. And there it is, HG. I think it's just really pretty. Might be one of my favorites. And then it says handcrafted and pewter on the back of it. And this one, for the big ones, were $14.95. And then the can in 1995. So that is all the pewter ornaments from the series that were made in 2000 and 2001, depending on the ornament. I forgot to mention that that series comes with a velvet banner where you take all the ornaments out and you place them on a banner and it's kind of like a display banner. However, mine is currently rolled up and put away really, really well. And I was just really lazy and didn't want to go and grab it. So I will include an image of it, but I don't have it on me in person. Sorry. <laughs> now unfortunately besides the pewter ornaments, I only have one other ornament from the early 2000s. And that is this one. The Potions Master. You can tell it's one of the old fashioned from the early 2000s, like 2001, 1990s. Due to the packaging, you can see, you know, it's that 90s theme. Throughout the decades, Hallmark changes their theme and you'll see that with all of my ornaments that I have. So this was originally pre retail at $14.95, however I bought it on eBay in 2020 for $35.64. Now I'm not going to open it up because I got to save time and show you guys all the other ornaments, but honestly the stock image will show you exactly what it is. So here's the back of it, I mean, all ornaments always give you a nice little blurb, so that's fun. And this is from 2001. The next ornament I'm going to show you is from 2008. So we did a quite a jump. We did a seven year jump and that's the Gargoyle Guard. Now this one actually is battery operated and it will speak and it'll be like Sherbert Lemon, which McGonagall says, and then it'll make the noise as if the staircase is actually moving. It's pretty cool. And one day when I have it on display, you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. However, we're going to make this really fast. So handcraft in 2008 and there it is. So you, print, you just basically hit this button and it would speak. Now this was originally retailed at 24 bucks. The next ornament that we have is Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. This is from 2009 and it retailed at $18.50. It's a really beautiful, solid ornament. It's quite nice to just keep it on display in all honesty. And there's the back of it. So like I said, the ornament themes always change. We went from a red box and now we're a clear white one. So we have two ornaments for 2010. So the first one is a gift for Dobby, and it's just Dobby, and this is a 2010 limited quantity one. Now I don't really know what that means, and maybe it was limited edition, I'm not really sure, they don't explain it. And it's originally retailed at $9.95. And this is the Pensieve, and this is Harry, Dumbledore, and the Pensieve in Dumbledore's office. Now again, it's not like I know what year these came in besides reading the copyright information, they actually do tell you. Handcrafted 2010, right there on the bottom. Can't miss it. There it is. Um, this was $18.95. We have two ornaments from 2011. One of them is Harry's Potter's Golden Snitch that he catches. It's quite beautiful, it's pretty lightweight. And this was $12.95 back in the day. The next one we have in 2011 is Fleen the Fien Fire. And I'm not sure if I can pronounce it right. I never seem to be able to pronounce it right, but this ornament has Hermione, Ron, and Harry in the Battle of Hogwarts. Fleen, Hermione's carrying the diadem on her head. And this was retailing at $24.95 back in 2011. Here is the only 2012 ornament that I have. It's called the Final Battle, and it features Harry and Voldemort dueling in the Battle of Hogwarts. So there they are. They actually do light up. So if you press the button on the ornament, it illuminates and you hear sounds of the epic battle between good and evil. Battery operated, handcrafted in 2012. And um, I don't have the price for this guy anymore, so I don't really know how much it was worth. It was ripped off. I think it was a gift, so. The next ornament that we have, and um, just so you know, pay attention to the box art because it's different. Hallmark changed their box art yet again. So this one is battery operated. Um, it actually lights up, if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, so press the button to the ormond to hear Hedwig's theme attaches the light swing for optional line effects. Correct. If you plug it into a light on your tree, it will bright. So that's pretty cool. And this one originally retailed for $24.95. Boom. The next ornament we have in 2014 is the sorting hat. So press the button on the ornament to hear dialogue from this classic scene. So there that is. And this one retailed at $24.95. Jumping around along to 2015, we have platform nine and three quarters. It's a pretty beautiful design, I think. It's like Harry's legs missing and I love that. I think it's so fun. And if you press the button, you hear a dialogue from this classic scene and it is battery operated. Now, I believe I took all the batteries out to preserve them, so we're okay. And again, $24.95. And this one got really banged up, the box art, however. Here is Ollivander's wand shop. Now if you plug it in, it will actually light up, so that's very fun. And if you look into the magic window viewer to see the inside of Ollivander's wand shop. So if you actually look into it, you'd be able to see details, which is very exciting. And this one originally retailed for $24.95. So the next ornaments that were released in 2016 are kind of very similar. They are a set of three, and they are chibi. Now, I'm not a big fan of chibi whatsoever, but back then I was basically buying them even though I didn't like them, but now there's just way too many of them for me to even bother, so I'm like, nah. I have the older versions, the older ones are anyway are of better quality than the ones I released today. So there it is, that's Hermione, and she was retailing at $9.95 back in 2016. Now I also have, like I said, it's a set of three, so I also have Ron, and I also have Harry, so I have Ron and the Harry, there they are. One, two, and three, and they were all retailing for $9.95. So moving on to 2017, they actually made another set, another version of Chibi Harry. And he retailed at $7.99, funny enough. So this is the this is a 2017 version right here. And this is the 2016 version. You can see the subtle differences between the hair, the eyes. It's just very, very minimal differences. However, I do have both versions. Why? Well, I don't know. I just do. It's really silly. The dangerous game, and it's Harry and Ron on the chess piece, and it does make sound. And this one retailed at what I believe is $24.95. It's blacked out with Sharpie. So there that one is. I think that's a really beautiful piece right there. And one of my favorites that if you plug it in to a light, it will illuminate. Look at that. The Wiz Gringotts Wizarding Bank with the Ukrainian Iron Belly on it. Now this one I believe also retailed $24.95, it is blacked out so I can't answer it, but there it is. And we are flying through all these because there's so many ornaments, we are in the year of 2018 now. So by 2018, Fantastic Beasts, the first movie, had already come out, so here's New Scamander's Niffler. So there he is, it's a very, very cute ornament. And this retailed at $15.99 back in 2018. Now, Hallmark also started doing a book series, The Sorcerer's Stone, and it was a 20th anniversary one because in 1998, the book was published in America. So there it is, and this one retailed for $17.99. We also have this ornament that is called First Impressions, and it's Harry and Snape in year one. Now, if you press the button on the ornament, you hear dialogue from this classic scene. So there you go. And this one retails at $24.99 back in 2018. Like I said before, all these ornaments, except for that one I bought during the year it came out, so I paid the same price, you know, plus tax or shipping or whatever it was. Well, this one was released in 2018 as well. However, I don't have a price for it because around this time, Hallmark started releasing these ornaments in Walmart and other places like that, where Walmart really could decide the price. So they stopped putting the, lay the prices on the box for some of these ornaments. However, this here is kind of like a glass blown Hogwarts crest. If you look at the back of it, it's kind of a clear. That's really pretty. And like I said, I don't know the price of it. So now we're gonna do the year of 2019. So first things first, is that Target started releasing exclusive ornaments. So here is an only at Target ornament for $9. It's pretty heavy, so that's nice. You finally get to see an actual ornament, not a box. Hooray! Now following the 2018 release of the first book, we have Chamber of Secrets now. So there is the second book. And this one retailed for 
In 2019, there was an exclusive ornament for Walmart, and there was a Hogwarts Express with the year 2019 on it. But oddly enough, the next year, they had released the same ornament, and they just took away the 2019. So there are two versions of this ornament that exist. However, I only have the 2019 version because that is the original and the exclusive one at Walmart. I see no point in collecting the other one, even though it's just the exact same, and it just kind of feels like a cheap discount version of it. So, I mean, if you want the Hogwarts Express without the 2019, Go for the 2020 version. We also have a flat metal one for an unknown price. And a lot of these, like I said before, don't have the prices on them, so I'd have to go and check my spreadsheet to remember all the prices that I get, and it would take me forever. This is the 2019 Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's part of the buildings theme. They seem to release at least one building per year. And this one retailed for $25.99. So we have a little bit of an increase, an increase I should say. Of prices now this one is actually a 2020 event exclusive and I'm not mistaken it's from San Diego comic-con I think but it is a Boggart Snape how funny is that isn't that amazing so it says 2020 event exclusive on it and it was a limited edition of 3350 only worldwide so I have one of them it's one of my favorites obviously it's just too great look at that detail and I love the black box it's like ooh, pretty Alright, the next one is we have another Niffler. This was released for Crimes of Grindelwald. So here's a Niffler. Um, this one doesn't have a price. Again. Now, 2019 was also the year they started releasing premium ornaments. And what does premium mean? Well, here is a premium example right there. It is a gold, shiny, freaking ornament and it says premium on it. So this is the Hallmark, this is the Hogwarts Crest, and this is one of the very first ones released. And this one has a price tag of $12.99 on it. We also have another premium ornament. Now, premium ornaments are also pretty heavy. They're solid inside, they're not hollow, they're not made very cheap, so their price tags are gonna be a little bit more expensive. But that is the sorting hand right there. And this one is an unknown price. And lastly for 2019, is an only available at Walmart premium golden snitch. So there that one is too, an unknown price. Woo! And so you could just rip this little thing off right there and it could be a totally normal ornament. You wouldn't even know if it was exclusive to Walmart. So that's kind of shitty, huh? Jumping right along to the 2020. First of all, we have another premium only at Walmart ornament. So here is the Deathly Hallows, the sign of the Deathly Hallows. Unknown price, but again, nice premium gold medal. Only at Walmart. Books and one, and if you look really closely at the top, you can see the wand and the Deathly Hallows right there. So you have the first, the second, the third, and for some reason the seventh book just piled right up there. So those are the American editions, so that's pretty fun. Obviously Walmart, so it's American. And then price, unless I look at my spreadsheet and be like, I paid so and so in 2020. Now this one's pretty fun. This is a hand-blown glass ornament of the Sorting Hat. Look how nice that is. You can see his grumpy face and everything. So that's always fun. It's fairly heavy. Unknown price. Now following along in the footsteps of 2018 and 2019, we have the Prisoner of Azkaban book. So there that is. And this originally retailed at $17.99 back in 2020. Now also in 2020, Hallmark released a storyteller series. So if you plug them in and you put them with the tree, they would all talk to each other. So if you guys know what storytellers are by Hallmark, you understand. So here's the very first one. This one is of Harry. And there he is. So that is the 2020 storyteller. Now this one retailed for $29.99. And basically, here's what it does, right? So connect this ornament to Hallmark's keepsake power cord to see the continuous light effect. Press the button to watch perform an exciting scene from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Add other Harry Potter collection ornaments and tree toppers to unlock larger, amazingly interactive performances. We also have Ron Weasley of the same Storyteller series, and again, same price of $29.99. And we also have Hermione for $29.99. Now, like I said, if you connect all of them together, they all speak to each other. Now, also in 2020, they released the Storyteller Hogwarts Castle. So if you see that, there it is. And now my box is pretty gross and pretty scuffed up because I bought it like, like this from Amazon for half the price. So it originally retailed for $119.99 and I only paid $69.93 for it. 
and this came out in 2020, but I bought it in 2021. So this is the giant castle. Um, it requires the power adapter, but it does have it. Hagrid's hut. So there he is, and he's really cool. He lights up if you put a, a bulb through it. Yeah, his little light windows light up, and that's really nice. And this retailed for $24.99. So moving right along to 2021, I have a fair amount to show you, so let's begin. Here we have a Hogwarts crest. Pretty easy, it says Hogwarts on it, fairly simple stuff. We also have a flat metal one. You could buy these at Walmart. Nice little metal. Um, here's an exclusive Walmart, and that is a Chibi Harry with a little Chibi Hedwig. I think Hedwig is pretty cute, so I think that's why I got it. Otherwise, it's like the same exact Harry as the other two chibis that I have already. Now, they released a lot of metal ones. So, here's another metal. That one's pretty cute. I actually like that one. This is, bit, this is rubber, so that's kind of fun. Um, they released a bit of a Halloween one. So, there is Harry with his trunk and his ticket. Then you also have another Harry. It's quit Chibi Harry flying on a broomstick. 2021 was basically the year of the Chibi. I don't really get it, but whatever. Um, in 2021, they also released a Funko line. And here is Lord Voldemort. Now, it was originally priced for Walmart only. However, you can now find this one anywhere. So it's a bit of a scam, honestly. When they say it only at Walmart, it's a lie. You can find it elsewhere. You just gotta wait a year or two. And then we also have Harry. Oh, yeah, Walmart. So these are Funkos. So these are a collaboration between Funko and Hallmark. Price unknown. We also have this ornament. This one's kind of a fun one. This one's a very vibrant color, like with pastels and spring-like, and that's Hogwarts Castle. We also have a little mini set from the Hallmark Keepsake. And look how tiny they are. It's adorable. You got the little trio from year one. These are basically the exact same as Story Terror, honestly. Just, you know, really, really small. And this originally retailed for $26.99 because they're so tiny and so cute and everybody wanted them. So following in with the tradition, a new book. Here is Goblet of Fire for the 2021 year. And this one was made actually really, really well, so that was nice. And this one values at $17.99 when it was first released. All right. And then in 2021, we also had a baby ornament release, and this is Wizard in Training. It's like a little baby mobile, so that's cute. Wizard in Training's got the year on it, so if you had a baby in 2021, this would be the Harry Potter ornament for you. You can still find it sometimes, too, so that's fun. And this one valued at $19.99. So along with the Storytellers, this one apparently was released in 2020, but my information says 2021 and I bought it in 2021. So I'm assuming it's a 2021 ornament, but here is Albus Dumbledore Storyteller Edition. And this is Richard Harris's Dumbledore, so the first Dumbledore. Um, and this one was valued at the same price as the other ones, $29.99. We also have this really cool guy. This one actually talks, and this is the story hat. You press his button and he repeats his lines just like he does in the original movies and books. And he does the four lines. Um, and it's battery operated, and batteries are not included in this one. So you have to bring your own batteries. And this one was $39.99, so pretty expensive. We also have another building. We have the three broomsticks. And if you plug it in, all the little windows light up, so that's exciting and fun, I think. And then this is $24.99. Now, to celebrate 20 years of the Sorcerer's Stone movie, Hallmark came out with this line. And this is a 20th anniversary ornament. So it's Harry holding the Sorcerer's Stone at the end of the movie. And this one was originally priced at $17.99, but you can still find this elsewhere. Then we started getting the Walgreens exclusives. We had Walmart exclusives, Walgreens exclusives. It's really annoying how everything has to be an exclusive, especially if you don't have a Walgreens light by you, which I don't. So this is a 2021 with a sword and hat and the wand. It's pretty cute for the year, so I got it. And this one was valued at $8.99. It actually has the price on it for a change. Going back to a Walmart exclusive, check out this premium wing key. This one is pretty fun. I love it. I grabbed it as soon as I could see it because I saw it on Facebook before and I was like, damn, I want it. And my Walmart always stocks everything like 10 years late, so I finally grabbed it. But here is Hedwig the Owl. It's a really cute little resin ornament. And the last 2021 ornament is actually an anime version of Hermione. Check that out. 
It's kind of cute. It's like a crossover anime of Hermione. I really like that. So the next series, I'm going to show you all my 2022 ornaments. So we're almost done, guys. So first things first, they released this little cute ornament for nine bucks. And it's dummy the hell self. Pretty cute, huh? Look how, look how smiley he is. He looks all smitten and smirking. Then we also have another flat ornament, but this time it's of Harry. Actually looking like Harry. Here we go. We have a wizarding wand set. So this is Ron, Hermione's, and Harry's wand. And there they are. And this was originally retailed for $32.99. The next one we have is Luna Lovegood. It's actually a really nice ornament of Luna. I think it has lots of detail to it. And this was retailing at $19.99 last year. So here is Order of the Phoenix. And that is the last book that I own. Because the half blood prince ornament looks terrible. I don't know what they did to it, but the faces look extremely derpy. It's all... I mean, it's supposed to be green, but it's it's just... It looks bad. It looks really prematurely designed. And it just kind of looks like they half-assed it. So I'm not going to spend over 20 bucks for it. Because this one itself was retailing at $17.99 last year. So it's either going to be 17 bucks or more this year. So it's like... No. So I didn't get it. So this is the last one that I bought so far, which is a shame because I have all the other ones. So maybe I'll just suck it up and buy it and be like I have a complete series. But I don't really see myself buying it. And honestly, I haven't really bought any 2023 ornaments, but we'll get to that in a bit. So here are the 2022 Newt Scamander ornament, and that's pretty cute. So there's one of his Niffler in the suitcase, and now we have Newt in the suitcase. And you can put them together, it looks really cute. So this one is $19.99. They also released this Golden Snitch Walgreens exclusive. It looks like it's a premium, but it's not. It's not the same material and it's not the same coating either. The other ones are actual metal, and this one looks like it was just painted. We also have one of my favorites, a Lego Harry Potter with his blue gloves. It's so cute. And this one retailed for $16.99. We also have this one, which is a bit funny. This one is like a chibi Harry, but he's like a bobblehead, wobblehead thingy. So he's like, he wobbles on your tree, and it's true. Look at that. Wah, 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 wah. And then the next one we have is an anime Harry. So in the 2021 versions, there was Hermione. This one is Harry. There is no Ron, oddly enough. And this one is an unknown prize. Next up in our buildings theme is Borgen and Burks. And that's really nice. I love that you can put a, like the lights set out on the Christmas tree and it'll all light up. I think it's beautiful. And this was $27.99 last year. We also have the Dueling Club from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Since it's the 20th anniversary for these two. So we have Harry and Draco. And this was $29.99. We also have this. And this one really pisses me off. Because this originally was uh, only at Walmart exclusive. The luggage trolley. So you got Hedwig and you got the trolley. But now you can find it anywhere else without this little tag. It's kind of like the Hogwarts Express where it was only at Walmart. And it was 2019. They re-released it for the rest of the world, so it's kind of a scam, which is another reason why I really haven't bought the 2023 ornaments. I'm going to keep going into that later. You'll see. It's like I went down a rabbit hole. And the next one we have is a Quidditch set. Now, this one's pretty fun. Look at that. I love the detail to it. Really fun. And this is battery operated, so you press the button to the ornament to see it move. So I believe the bludgers move, if I'm not mistaken. And this was $29.99. Now this one's pretty fun. I kind—I of, really like this one. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It lights up. I just—I really like that. I think it's great. And here we have this Walgreens exclusive, which is the same design as this one that I just showed you before, really, or almost the same. They're, his hands are different. But it's the same type of anime face, where it's anime but it's not, it's like a hybrid of something. And he's like that. It's not really my favorite, dude, but this was valued at $9.99 last year. I think I got it because it was exclusive, but now I learned exclusives don't really mean exclusives. And now we have another Niffler, and he's sitting on coins. So this was released last year. And then we also have this one, which was quite nice. We never really have Marauder's Map ornaments, and it's like, I saw me swear, I'm up to no good. And there's the Marauder's Map right there. And then we also have this one right here. And this one's kind of like a hand-blown glass chibi Harry. So I had to get it because it's hand-blown. And I really like hand-blown ornaments. Um, 
they're kind of a rarity, honestly, nowadays. And like I said, Funko had partnered with Hallmark, so here is an only at Walmart exclusive. And I'll show you the original version. So this is the original version. It's Harry and Hedwig, only at Walmart, right? But then you also have this limited edition of 2022, limited quantity. So for every one that you find of this one, like every five that you find of the normal one, there would be like one gold one that you could find. So that's what they mean by limited quantity, where they were released in a lower number. And they're the exact same, just one's gold and one's not. Um, so it even says it, limited quantity on the top and on this right in front right there. And um, yeah. So the thing with these is that even though they say, you know, only at Walmart, they don't actually mean it which I think is pretty stupid. You could find all these Funkos again, basically anywhere on Amazon. The next year they'll have it. Um, when they say, oh, release of 2022, you can find those ornaments again, the year after, and the year after, and the year after. It's like, retire your items, make less quantity of them. Your items will have more value to them instead of making mass productions one. I don't like it at all, which is why I only have two ornaments for 2023. And let me tell you, they released more than they ever have, I think this year. So here is the sorting hat. He looks really grumpy, but I got him for like seven bucks. And then this one, Obviously, I had to get the premium because I love the premiums. This is an only at Walmart premium, and it's a gold medal in blue of Hogwarts Castle. And it's it's beautiful. I absolutely love this one. Um, so those are the only two I got. All the other ornaments of 2023 seem kind of cheap in my opinion. Especially the Half-Boy Prince book, which was the one I really wanted to get to complete my collection. I also really want to get the buildings because I keep collecting buildings every year, right? However, this year, Amazon re-released old buildings from like 2020 or something like that. The Weasley Wizard Weasley's building I showed you, which was released a couple years ago and was retired, was now re-released this year with a new copyright slapped onto it. So it says 2023, so you know it's a different edition, so that's a good thing. However, it's like half the price. So it's like, why would I spend all this money on the original one when you're gonna send, release the same one a couple years later, and it looks the exact same, they do, because a bunch of fans went out and compared them, and they look the exact same. So it's like, why would you go and spend it then when you could just wait a couple years for the second edition and it looks exactly the same, and who cares? I mean, well, the Hallmark ornaments have really, like lost their value, really. The old ones still retain the values. I'm like, the super old ones, like these, these are really hard to find. These are the most expensive. If you go and buy an ornament from, let's say, last year, you can find like a thousand of them on eBay. They have no value. So if you were going to collect ornaments from Hallmark, I suggest you buy the old ones. Or buy the new ones that come out this year if you want. It's all up to you. But those are my experiences and my thoughts. And that concludes, guys, my Harry Potter Hallmark ornament series. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm sorry I couldn't show you all the ornaments in the boxes. But as you can see, there's a lot and we'd probably still be here by Christmas Day showing you all the ornaments and you'd be like, oh my god, Blops, it's been 84 years. So anyway, that is all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.